story breaks yesterday that the NCAA, um, that the NCAA is uh, adding criteria for agents who want to represent student athletes testing the waters for the NBA draft. Typical one step forward, two steps back. NBA takes a step forward in 2018, I believe, to say, hey, kids, there's no reason to just torch your eligibility because you're curious about going into the NBA draft and you sign with an agent to help you with that process. So here's what we'll do is if you're curious and an agent chats with you and you figure out that it's better for you to stay put, you can stay put, right? So the NCAA has come up, however, with three criteria. One would say to protect the, uh, the player from being preyed upon by somebody, an agent that is not qualified or might not have your best interest in mind. One of this is, is that you have to be certified with the NBPA, the Players Association, for a minimum of three years. You can't just walk off the street. All right, I hear you. You got to have three years of eligibility Makes before. Because this is a very crucial decision for a kid, right. right? Sure. That's number one, okay. Professional liability insurance, got it. Okay. Clear background check. I haven't seen anything that's totally unreasonable. Completion of an in-person exam taken in the NCAA office in Indianapolis in early November. I mean, we, we have it. We have the internet for these things, but you know, if you want to make sure that nobody's taking the answers, you're, you're, you're taking the test yourself. Right. You have to proctor it. You know, we we have seen examples of people claiming that they're on a crew team and and they don't really row. They've never hold an oar in their hand. They don't even yeah. know how to spell the word oar uh, or either. I get it. I understand. Okay. All right. Look, we all we all take trips to Indianapolis. Wonderful city. Yeah, once a year. And you get a little steak and shake. You know, a little bit of you know, this is a nice Some spot. Cocktail, it's all good. Eh, it's okay. Yes. You got to schlep to Indy and for certain parts. Of... <laughs> then there's the issue of a bachelor degree. Hmm. Bachelor degree. Why do you have to have a bachelor degree? Why do you have to have that? Well, guess who doesn't have a bachelor degree? Rich Paul of Clutch Sports doesn't have a bachelor degree. <laughs> Guess who's the one who's uh, telling kids like Darius Baisley that uh, you don't have to play college basketball. You can be an intern for a, mil- uh, for, for a year and get a million-dollar shoe deal and still be drafted by the Oklahoma City Thunder and being uh, a teammate of Chris Paul. Still do that. Guess who's doing that? That's Rich Paul. Guess who had an article about him in Sports Illustrated and an unnamed – let's get this right here – an unnamed competitor – as this uh, person was written about. He didn't graduate from college, so how'd he get certified? Is the NCAA doing the bidding for people who are getting their ass beat by Rich Paul? That's a good question. Bachelor degree. Who needs a bachelor degree? You know who doesn't have a bachelor degree? I tweeted this out because I looked it up. Uh, Steve Jobs? Nope. He didn't finish college. Peter Jennings didn't finish college. Ellen DeGeneres didn't finish college because they wanted to make my point on uh, on Twitter. I couldn't go down the list. Paul Allen didn't finish college. Michael Dell didn't finish college. Come on. Who needs a bachelor degree? And by the way, some people can't afford a bachelor degree. So you're telling people who can't afford to go to college and get a bachelor degree, you have no shot at being an NBA agent for a specific group of kids that's very important for you to be able to represent and do your job. Bachelor degree. Where the hell did that come from? Telling Rich Paul to get a BA is BS. How about that? NCAA. LeBron was not happy. It's, it's, it stinks to the highest of heaven. But would you expect anything less than the, from the NCAA? One step forward, two steps back. I hit the worst organization. Come on, man. Call it what it is. It's being called the Rich Paul rule for a reason. Ah, isn't that interesting? Guy who's starting to dominate the business. Doesn't have a bachelor degree. Suddenly you got to have one in order to represent a crucial group of kids coming out of college. For more of the Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download the Rich Eisen Show app.